his mantra vishnu success mantra is practice practice and practice second one is map the syllabus with the newspapers yes sir. and make your own notes from that third be patient and fourth mantra of vishnu is everything is incremental you will improve slowly gradually don't try to rush things hi namaskar welcome to another episode of topper stock and i have a special guest in front of me he is vishnu shashi kumar he secured all india rank 31st this year welcome vishnu thank you sir thank you very welcome much, to topper stock thank you sir and uh, how are you feeling has the feeling sunk in it is sinking in slowly sir okay. <laughs> because the euphoria has not gone out yet mm -hmm. uh very much excited and more than the euphoria uh, the happiness is also that we have got moksha from this cycle of examination okay moksha from the cycle of examination yes, amazing sir. that's a good word to use moksha yes, okay all right mm -hmm. so it's a very great feeling and obviously now to sit here uh -huh. and to have a talk with you that's also i'm feeling great all right thank yes, you sir. and uh, let me i mean walk me through the journey i mean how did you prepare what was the journey like just talk me walk me through the journey uh sir i had civil services in my mind right from my younger years uh, my mother actually instilled the idea of ias within me she told that's a good career choice uh, so i was interested in the ias but later when i myself explored the civil services i realized foreign service is also a very good option which attracted me a lot so i chose the foreign service also a very good career prospect so i decided to write the civil service examination right at my uh, very young age so i had this choice of looking for humanities in class 11th and 12th so initially there was some pressure there were some hiccups in choosing humanities i took science for some 6 months after that i switched to humanities and then after that i went to st stephen's college uh, and i graduated in 2021 I gave my attempt in 2021 itself uh, without much preparation so I could not clear in 2022 sir I cleared with all india rank 394 after a decent preparation and in this year sir luckily I could get into all india rank So 34. it's been a four year long preparation yes sir so I'm sure which when this four years there must be a lot of high moments and there must be low moments because it's a long lonely preparation I'm sure in these four years you must have had some self doubts also yaar hoga nahi hoga did you have ever have a self doubt sir especially during the mock tests when prelims uh, mock tests when i was doing i still remember i i was so impatient that i began my uh, test with a full length test directly okay all right i was so confident in myself like i was like chalo phod denge isko okay i did uh, first mock and i was so devastated i was like i was not even passing the cut off marks by a very large margin okay so i was like will this ever happen like will i be able to clear this examination like pehle stage mein main out ho jaunga oh, that right. was the some self doubts i had but then i was made realize ki my strategy was entirely wrong I so how to... did you overcome that self doubt because i am sure all aspirants yes, they sir. go through this phase of self doubt yes, especially sir. mock tests even yes, during sir. the prep also they have this and overcoming self doubt is a big challenge yes, so sir. how did you overcome the self doubt sir um, firstly i had a very good bunch of my friends okay i had a very i was lucky enough to have very supportive parents all right who were very much capable in my abilities and uh, they were like it's okay it's fine and those who had this experience of this examination when i talked to them they also said ki who writes full length test in your first mock so it's your all first right. mock so don't do that mistake uh so everyone just advised me to stay calm and the most important thing was that everyone made me realize the importance of patience in mm -hmm. this examination sir because sir, what i realized in my journey was incremental efforts incremental results are there it's not a sudden result okay so prepares. so basically what you'll advise them is like be patient yes sir and uh, the progress will be incremental you yes, cannot sir. have a quick sudden spurt sir spurt right yes, sir. all right so that really helped me and then after that slowly my scores also began to improve and i began writing the sectional test okay and then once i was had a strong foundation in my sectional test and when i took uh, the full length test my scores were decent enough okay. so i think that propelled me so in throughout the journey sir at different stages even in mains all right when i was not able to complete the answers when i was lacking content in the answers when i was not getting good marks in the mocks I really self doubted myself because I saw many people who were very much hard working than me who had reached till the interview stage I was thinking what will I do as a newbie in this exam will I ever reach that stage how will I competing with such people 
So that feeling sort of creates a lot of self doubt within us also, sir. And All right. the uncertainty of this examination is also big enough to create that doubt within me. All right. But again, sir, it was uh, the same set of people. The the it's motivation. basically family, family the friends. friends. Uh, they are the ones who yes, can uh, pushed me to go right. ahead to do that thing. All right. Yes, sir. So I have. I need to talk about two things because you use the word content. Yes, sir. Now, one of the biggest uh, issues every aspirant has sources. Yes, sir. See, the, everybody goes to the same sources. Yes, sir. But content has to be enriched also. So, yes, how sir. did you enrich your content? Besides the standard sources, did you do something specific to enrich your content? How did you, you go about it? Uh, so, for each GS, this time I did some value enrichment because last time I did not have the luxury to do that. Uh, this time I did a lot of value enrichment. So, sir, for example, GS1, I took a lot of examples, be it art and culture, which enriched my answer, which could, so I could shorten the length of my points and I could convey my points in a very fewer words. Okay. So, my, the number of points increased in GS1. In society and also, sir, the examples really helped me a lot reading from the newspapers. So, basically, your source of examples were newspapers? Yes, sir. Newspapers. Okay. For, for society? Society, GS1. GS1, sir, then art and culture. and uh, So, I enriched a lot of examples. So, I had two examples for the points. All I'm right. ready in my mind. Just in backup in case I forget one. All right. GS2, sir, I used. Last year also, I used the same strategy. But this year, that worked out for me very well. Um, I could increase my marks by 19 marks. All right, that so is I amazing. So I used constitutional articles very much. Okay, Supreme this is for paper to use constitutional articles very much. Yes, okay. sir, Supreme Court judgments and the committee recommendations. So advice for paper two, Supreme Court judgments, constitutional articles, and the last one? Committee recommendations. Committee recommendations. Three good uh, sources to enrich your answers. Yes, sir. That's a good one. All so right. I did that for GS2. Um, in IR also, sir, it was, uh, I used the latest current affairs. Uh, so there is MEA's newsletter, which comes up. Oh, MEA's newsletter. Yes, this sir. is rare. I mean, very few people follow that. Yes, sir. So I did that. That also really helped me a lot. Okay. Then, sir, in GS3, it was data. So I was very much keen on data. Coming from a humanities background, sir, I'm not very well versed with mathematics and all. So this time I used a lot of data in my answers to quote the data. And uh, this time, sir, one thing which I distinctly remember for GS3 and which made me very happy was, sir, there was a question on Chandrayaan. Okay. And one day before that, I went to ISRO's website. Okay. And I sir. just studied okay. the Chandrayaan. And the same question came. Came the And next I day. drew a diagram of Chandrayaan. There was a question on. Oh, amazing. Explain the components of Chandrayaan. Okay. And I was so happy seeing that. I forgot that there is another part of the question in that excitement. And I could not write it. There was this one small minor part named the four countries which have reached moon before India. I did not write that part because I could not see it. I was so excited. So I think such small things, uh, the diagrams and all in GS3 where it was not possible. Like I could not have drawn that Chandrayaan diagram. More so. than diagrams, what I'll recommend to students is the website. Yes, sir. See, usually uh, students have this tendency for, they'll never go to the original source. They'll go to the secondhand source. Yes, sir. The original source happens to be ISRO website. Yes, sir. True, the sir. original source happens to be MEA's newsletter. Yes, sir. So these are the original sources you should be following if really you want to enrich your content. Yes, sir. So that worked for you, right? That very website. much worked for me, sir. And uh, okay, this is about paper three. Yes, sir. GS4, sir, it was your classes. I was. Oh, that's your very classes. kind of you. My very classes. Much. Okay. And I, that was my only source of content for ethics. I made notes from whatever class notes you were saying. Really short notes, sir. And you also helped to concise that. Uh, so I really followed that. And that really helped me to have a good content, especially in the theory part, section A part, where I struggled last year to okay. study. So that really helped me in the GS4 aspect, sir. So and for was, essay? So essay, sir, I did a lot of writing practice this time. So what's the right time to start uh, practicing writing essays? This is for people who are beginners. Yes, sir. See, every beginner has this thing. Essay means I should start writing yes, immediately. Yes, sir. So what's the right time to start your essay prep? Sir, I think uh, before the prelims, definitely one should have written three to four essays to have a brief idea or knowledge like where they stand All right. in terms of writing the essay. So because I feel there is no such essay, essay specific content that we require. What I did was, sir, I was uh, using the accumulated knowledge, the knowledge of the GS content and the other like the PSIR knowledge in my essays. 
so i did not need to study much for the essays what i needed to do was practicing to write the essays okay because everyone has a different style and some styles might not be like i had a very monotonous style last year okay all right very much restricted to what the question was asking okay but this year i made a change by exploring i made myself a bit more free like for example uh, there was a question uh, not all who wander are lost mm-hmm. last year if i would have written i would have just said not all who wander are lost us pe hi main stick karke main likhta okay and then uske ek other dimension ko likhta like like sometimes uh, they are lost all right but this time what i did was i explored it why do people wander is okay. wandering necessary so basically uh, critical thinking yes sir i explored i broke the topics and i explored it very much so i got the freedom and it did not become very monotonous okay right. and most important thing i did sir was i practiced a lot of essay writing because last year ka essay marks i maine chipka ke rakha tha samne okay the essay marks ka what was last year's essay sir marks? it was just 92 if 92. i not wrong okay and this, and this time, year 132 sir oh that's a big big jump yes sir. 40 marks almost yes sir. that's a big jump yes sir so basically it worked for you constant practicing yes, essay writing worked for you sir, in the and whole process it was using a critical thinking yes, broadening sir. your perspective that yes, actually sir. helped you okay yes, that's impressive okay. the whole process of examination for the upsc sir my fundamental philosophy was practice 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 okay fundamental philosophy for succeeding in upsc practice practice, practice, practice and practice practice okay. it was just making myself familiar with the examination You know, you speak like an athlete. You know, when an athlete prepares for an event, that's what they do: practice, practice, and practice. You sound like Usain Bolt. <laughs> practice, practice, and practice. Okay, amazing. And uh, since you are from a humanities background, I'm sure CSAT must have been a big challenge. Yes, sir. It was a phobia for me. Phobia. Okay. <laughs> Because. So, how did you overcome that phobia? Uh, sir, firstly, I did my basics correct by learning some problems. uh doing the uh by looking at the classes and all i studied the c side but there also i was a bit lazy sir because certain areas which i did not like mm-hmm. like permutation combination okay. number systems those are the questions which i did not look also sir because i was like itna confident tha ki yaar baki sawalon se main kar lunga but this time i was very fortunate enough sir ki i i could only do 42 questions this time sir okay all so right last year it was 57 uh-huh. i do 42 and I was left with five minutes, and I was thinking what to do because I had nothing else to do. मेरे सारे सवाल खत्म हो गए थे. Because number system से बहुत questions आ गए, permutation से बहुत सारे questions आ गए. So there I realized that I did a mistake, and this is something which I would like to tell to other aspirants: is never do that mistake because it can cost you a attempt. Because we don't know. UPSC has never said that we have so many questions. We will ask them. All right. This is our assumption. So for CSAT, what I what personally worked for me, sir, was. uh after that was one thing practicing the thing but so one mistake that all of us made is we never do it in a time bound approach sir okay so basically you need to practice c sat within a particular within a time span. particular time span, time span so that sir. means you should time yourself time when you're practicing c sat you should actually time yourself you yes, should sir. simulate what's exactly happening yes. in the exam okay that brings me to a big point you know one of the things which i have noticed in almost all the candidates is they study but they don't plan for yes, the sir. exam what you going to do in that two True, hours sir. that planning is very very important yes sir. so the moment you said we have to practice the timer yes sir. so th- you have to simulate the exam situation yes, that sir. works right i simulated sir and it really worked because in c sat we have two hours there so in order to create a pressure i did it in 1 hour 45 minutes okay that's a good advice start practicing c sat in 1 hour 45 minutes so that way you'll be able to manage the time well yes, in the sir. exam in the okay. pressure over there and sir it also helped me to understand because in c sat we can't solve everything all right yeah I, i mean this is something which we have to remember you cannot solve, solve everything. everything and don't even try to solve everything yes, right sir. it's about qualifying yes, it's sort of topping c sat right yes sir. Hmm. so i when initially i was doing i had this yaar main ye karunga like there are some questions which will take a lot of time but i knew that like ye mere se ho payega but bahut time lagta tha so then later i realized i have to leave such questions so the this practice helped me in two ways one it you know stimulated my brain to think under pressure perform under pressure and number two sir it also made me realize what to live and to identify which questions to live and thirdly it's a comprehension reading speed is very much important in csat sir by simulating so reading it. speed and okay so simulation help you to improve your performance reading speed okay. yes sir so that helped me to grasp the content of the comprehension well and i could answer the so questions so what did you do basically you practice with uh, from p- uh, previous years questions yes, or mock tests so how so did you practice sir i did uh, the so what i did was 
basically for example 2014 se 2022 ka if i'm taking so utne din prelims ke utne din pehle se i would simulate myself 9:30 to 11 upsc time and uh, okay. 2:30 to usme csat but in 1 hour 45 apart from that definitely some mock test of csat and gs i used to take so that i left no stone unturned Unturned. okay because prelims is a very uh, uncertain uncertain examination thing. for me okay so. fair enough yes. when did you actually start practicing answer writing because answer writing is something which uh, big issue and yes, there are sir. different narratives yes sir the one narrative says like you should start answer writing right from day one yes, there is one more narrative which says that you finish a certain topic say 40 50% of the topic then you start writing answers then yes, one narrative which says you finish the entire topic completely say modernity means finish the entire modernity then you start with answer writing so what's the right time to start writing answers immediately or little bit of the topic what's your take sir i did it personally for me it was little bit of the topic the second option which you said after i finished a little bit of topic i felt there was enough content for me to write the answers i began to pra- uh, pra- act uh, practice answer writing because i felt sir again that familiarity should be there i should be able to train my mind i should be able to think All not right. think my pen should think while writing oh pen should think while writing yes, all right there is no scope to think while yes. writing an answer there so uh, that was my uh, strategy sir like answer writing practice it as much as you can because that will be really helpful and sir uh, and but when to start so in the moderate like once you have done 40 to 50% of the topic so topic that you start you can answer. start answer writing so because because there's a big myth here that yeah. you finish the class the moment you finish a certain class start yes, writing sir. immediately every day i have to write one answer every second day that creates a lot of pressure don't you think so yes sir it creates a lot of pressure because then we'll have a lot of things to write we might miss out on very important parts of the syllabus if we go incrementally like as we are completing we also complete the answer writing a our knowledge base is getting improving okay. and b our answer writing skill also automatically getting that incremental change as you said sir if we do that after the end of everything there will be a lot of pressure ki hum kya likhe and then we'll also have the pressure of that studying the new topic and jo pehle humne padha tha wo bhi shayad se hum bhul gaye yes true true yes sir okay i have one last question to you yes sir. okay see uh, when you prepare for an exam for such a long time 21 to 23 2 years sitting alone preparing there lot of stress comes in yes sir and i have seen students they don't talk about it but stress gets in yes sir okay and i think to, to qualify this exam you need to understand a way or you need to have a mechanism to manage your stress also yes sir so what advice will have for students to manage stress levels because now as prelims gets closer the sure, stress, sure. stress levels increases so what's the best way to manage that stress sir i for personally for me it was i was acknowledging myself that i was i was having stress and i did not feel guilty about having stress okay i was like it's we are all human beings we are all having different emotions sometimes we might feel down sometimes we might be feel stressed and there is no need to feel guilty about it sir i feel it's okay like you should take a break and uh, not like a very long break but that one day or half a day you feel so you recommend that the best way to beat stress is taking a break taking a break sir i i am a foodie so i used to order food whenever i was feeling very stressed or i used to go for a stroll outside okay or i used to hang out with my friends so basically you will advise them stress is normal yes sir it's very much normal and the best way to beat the stress this for all of you the best way to beat the stress is you should take a break yes, once sir. in a while yes sir. so that you come back refreshed yes sir and do what you like yes sir okay okay there's one more question connected to stress yes, like sir. social media yes sir okay should you stay off completely from social media or you can leverage social media for prep also what's your understanding here um sir i was a person who was off the social media during my preparation years okay but i very much feel that sir social media can be a very good content enrichment medium yes. because there are a lot of government sources which are there on the social media sir and many points which we write in answers sir many keywords are actually promoted by the government through social media also so which is attracting the youth so this is something which everybody should listen like social media government of india is huge on social media yes sir lot of uh, pages, ministries yes. pib everybody Mygo, yes actually a lot of things are there on the social media which can actually help in the preparation which is interesting also very visually appealing also sir and yes. it remember like we remember that things visual things we remember more than the written things in the books sir okay last 
do you have any advice what advice you will give to a beginner how to go about it what some critical advice you would like to give to the beginners sir i think uh, patience as i said earlier is patience, the most important okay. thing first is patience incremental efforts incremental things pave okay. way so secondly one must not stick themselves to the books only sir what i have felt recently is upsc has been starting to us accumulated knowledge a lot whatever we have learned from our experiences how we observe the world around us okay that's a very important point upsc started moving towards accumulated knowledge that how do you understand the world what have you accumulated over a period of say school and college so yes, that sir. is very important okay there was a, i'm just giving an example sir there was a question on titanium this prelims ha uh ha -huh. and it's, i just i was able to answer that question because when i went to trivandrum one of the beaches i saw a titanium corporation ka board over there okay with that address over there and then i realized okay titanium was there in the option so this must be an answer so i did that way so i think uh, and thirdly sir definitely pressure if managing the pressure at the examination hall is also a very important thing so because all of us prepare very hard we are very much equally capable but the only thing which beats us that day is the stress okay We're not able to recollect the content that we might have over there so right. managing stress is also very much important at that day all right and so most importantly as i said earlier is practice many of us we have a fomo of not reading this not reading that but if you have read enough use that we have a weapon we have an arsenal but we have to learn to use yes, that yes that, that brings me to one big question how much to read is a very big issue and yes, especially sir. how much to read also there is a big issue when it comes to newspapers yes sir. what to read in newspapers how much to look for what to look for so this is where your critical thinking also yes, comes so how did you manage that part what exactly did you look at look at in newspapers sir i was looking uh, a uh, the static subjects my economy polity so uh, there were compilations also which showed which to read but apart from that in newspapers also initially for a new aspirant they will be tempted to read everything everything yes but sir the if an aspirant looks at the upsc syllabus first especially the main portion main portion it is very much clearly written elaborately written so after they are very much aware of this main syllabus and when they read the newspaper again they themselves will be able to figure out what is correct and what is not correct which editorial to read which editorial okay. to not read so basically you have to map the newspaper With to the, the syllabus. syllabus yes sir then you should be doing it yes sir all right that's the advice we'll have for the beginners especially yes, no? all right so i'll recap the advice his mantra vishnu success mantra is practice practice, practice. and practice yes sir right one second one is map the syllabus with the newspapers yes sir and make your own notes from that that's the second mantra third be patient and fourth mantra of vishnu is everything is incremental you will improve slowly gradually don't try to rush things yes so these are the four mantras that vishnu gives us yes sir. and with this i would like to thank vishnu vishnu thank you for being here thank you very much sir it was it was a honor. pleasure having you vishnu it was an honor to be with you sir no it's thank always you, a pleasure vishnu thank you sir thank you vishnu thank you sir thank you thank you very much sir. Thank you.